how's everyone doing today? This is Sammy with Wild Tangent. Happy Friday. Uh, so today we are going to play an adventure game uh, that's called Yono and the Celestial Elephants. Um, if you've ever played like a game like kind of like Zelda where you have puzzles and you explore, um, it's kind of like that kind of game. So it's a pretty really cute elephant. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do a new game. I'm Sundara. I saw you fall from the sky. What kind of thing are you? Well met, Sundara. My name is Yono. I'm an elephant. I'm a human. Nice to meet you. I'm on the lookout for an adventure, which is why I'm out here in the wilderness. Then I saw this big, shiny star fall from the sky, and I figured that could be a good place to look. That's how I found you so quick. That's what I'm here for, too. I am ready for an adventure. There's a small village just up ahead. It's called Windhill. That's where I was when I saw the star. Come on, I'll take you there. Follow me. There she goes. So with this game, you can play with a keyboard. Um, I am playing with a controller because that's usually my preferred method when I play games. Um, but you can do either or in this game. All right, so we're in Oma's Peninsula. So Oma means grandmother in German. <laughs> Ooh, I can pick up Secret Forest Jar Shrine. Please don't lift my jars. Please don't stand in front of them and press your interact button. They break easily. Thank you for your concern. But I like my turtle. Okay, so on the bottom right it says A, because I'm, I'm using an Xbox controller, so it's telling me what to do with an Xbox controller. It will tell you to what to do with the keyboard and mouse if um, that's the way you play. So I'm hitting X to interact. Um, I can do A for headbutt. I was pushing B. Then B was um, keys or trunk. And then how do I get that? Oh, okay. I want the turtle. <laughs> All right. These big boulders are blocking the path. I just jumped over them before, but maybe you want to find another solution. No offense. I wager even rocks like these are no match for that mighty skull of yours. I'll see you down the road. Try and keep up. <laughs> All right, so I would assume I would use headbutt. Okay, here we go. Break those rocks. <laughs> wow, you really pulverized those boulders. How strong are you? I bet you can push this big, heavy box around like it was nothing. Just keep walking right into it for a while until it starts moving. Really put your back into it, you know? Personally, I can't even budge it. Well, I'll run ahead. Don't dawdle. <laughs> okay. So it looks like I need to push the block over this way so I can get across. Because, oh, I guess I can slide and do that. Because I don't have any junk, jump function <laughs> functionality. Look at these dandelions. Don't you just want to blow them all out? All right, so I'm going to see. I guess it does tell you the controls if you're even if you're using a controller. So it says control, use the trunk. A ploofy. And I mean, your nose is huge. Just imagine what a mighty gust you can whip up with that thing. Anyway, we're not far from Windhill now. Just a bit more. I'll meet you again when we get there. So long. <laughs> Funkle. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna use my trunk and blow some of the dandelions. 
get some, I guess that's currency. And the red ones are your life. Oh no, I'm blowing my currency off the cliff. That's not what I wanted to do. All right. Well, there's a rock. Can you do anything with that? No, but I betcha I need to blow the pin, pinwheel. And then maybe, oh, it does it by itself. Okay, cool. Can I do anything with that? I guess not. Uh, is that a button? Yep. All right, so I'm gonna push the block onto the button. Ah! Oh, and what does this one do? Ah! That moves that. Up we go. Ooh, a chest. I'll take that. Interact. You found a health token. Collect four of these and take them to the nearest health token exchange service to trade them in for an extra health container. Oh, looks like I need to blow the pinwheel again. I guess it stops after a time. Do you have anything to say? <laughs> yeah, you made it all the way. I knew you would. Wind Hill is right here. It's a small village nowhere near the size of Nightingale City, where I'm from. It's a cute place though, and it's quiet, peaceful, and remote. Just one thing, if you find that you need to disappear for a while, I'll make my way back to Nightingale City eventually. But for now, I'm loafing around in these parts of the world. By the way, don't be shy to go and talk to people. That's really the best way to learn more about what is going on around here. And don't hesitate to talk to the same person several times either. I find that most people just love the sound of their own voices, and almost everyone has many interesting things to say if you're just prod them a little. I myself have been bothering every stranger I've met all the way from Nightingale City. Well, I guess that's why she's bothering me. <laughs> this way, Windhill. A small village with a big wind obsession. Well, good thing I have a trunk that can blow wind. Windhill. Something is scribbled beneath the name. Yingrid was here? Hello. <gasps> Good day. Oh, hello there, little one. You startled me. Pray tell, what exactly are you? Some sort of animal? I'm terribly, terribly sorry to ask if it was rude, I mean. It's just you may very well be the first four-legged creature I have ever talked with. It's quite all right, ma'am. I am an elephant. An elephant, you say? How curious. I have never heard of elephants before. I have come here to help people and do my best to bring joy to the world. Well, that sounds positively splendid! Welcome to Windhill. Little elephant, our village is not big, but it's quite charming. When you say, I think you can make many new friends here if you just take a look around. Alright. Can I do some Wait, here's another pinwheel. Can I go in people's houses? Apparently. Hi, Mr. Man. Help me! My scientific experiments seem to have attracted a whole lot of snooks. They have invaded my cellar, and I can't go down there anymore. Maybe I can help you clear them. Oh, could you? They are nasty little creatures, but they are not very dangerous if one is careful. If you find any treasure down in the cellar, you can keep it as a reward for helping me with snook problem. With the snook problem. Yeah. This smoke is snook. <laughs> Sorry, I'm breaking your jars. I need stuff. Alright, so let's go look at the Snokes. Whoop. Oh! They're snakes! Snokes. Snokes! And there's treasure. I don't really need hearts, but that's our diamonds. <laughs> You found a health token. Collect four of these. Yep, so I got number I got number two now. I can't do anything with that one? I guess not. Apparently I cannot. Alright, 
let's... You know, I didn't talk to her yet. Hmm? I could study this map for hours. Wind Hill, Nightingale City, the Sun... Sundergarden, and Freehaven. It's all there. There should be a map like this in every town, and we just received one here in Wind Hill. Okay. Do I talk to him again? Hmm? Snokes are a member of the Viperidae family, but they are not venomous to humans. They are, however, known to be very aggressive, even towards the creatures much larger than themselves. One single snoke is easily dealt with, but they often group together in large numbers, and this can make them quite dangerous. A group of snokes is called a pit. A pit of snokes. A pit of snokes. Alright. Oh, there's another house here I didn't go in. What does she have on her head? <gasps> Did you know that Mechani built a whole network of subterranean railways all over the kingdom? One day, I'm going to ride a train all the way to Nightingale City, but I'm too small to ride that far. Can the rail roads take you anywhere? Yes! All the major cities and lots of other places as well! But you'll have to visit the cities first by yourself before you can take a train there. That's why I'm not allowed to ride. Yet. In the meantime, I wear my trusty adventure helmet. It's an adventure helmet, huh? Can I do anything with the bookcases? No. Whoa! He kept on running. Oh. Hi, dude. I got a chicken on my head. A chicken on my head. Good day, sir. My, aren't you strange creature? If you don't mind me asking, sir, what exactly are you? I'm an elephant. My name is Yono. You're a pretty strange one yourself. Oh, not at all, sir. I am Mikani. I come from the robotic city state of Free Heaven. If you are wondering what I am doing down here in Wind Hill, sir, the answer is that I am on vacation. You are on vacation. Well, enjoy your vacation, buddy. Whoa. The old man who lives down there, over there, is so scary. He's a village undertaker, and, and, and he's a zombie. A zombie? What do you mean? I mean, he's not alive. He's no less a corpse than those he has undertaken to undertake. He's wearing a long black cloak. His hands are cold as the breath of death, and his face is as white as a bone. He gives me the heebie-jeebies. What are you doing here by this house, then? I want to get a good look at him, of course. This is so exciting! Okay. Alright, so... We just got... Stuffs. Ooh, money. Money's not bad. I don't need any health yet. Give me that. Thank you. Where's this gonna take me? Oh, up. Oh. Hello. Another person. Ooh. Good day. I'm a traveling marble merchant. I sell marbles. That's very nice. How is business going? Not good at all. I put down the merchandise for a short while and now I can't for the life of me remember where I put it. Have you lost your marbles? Yes, I have. I can't find them anywhere. I'll help you look. You will? Yes, I'm an elephant. I'm here to bring peace and harmony and to help anyone in need. I will find your marbles for you. Thank you very much. So he lost his marbles. Ha! <sighs> huh. Oh, there's that girl again. <laughs> oh, hi there, Yono. Look at the sleeping boy I found. Can we keep him? Judging from his clothes and shaved head, I wager he's a monk from the temple in the city. Though he can hardly be more than a novice. And that makes me wonder, what is he doing all the way out here? Or perhaps, what he should be doing instead of dozing off. Wouldn't it be hilarious to wake him up in a really startling fashion? Maybe I should yell really loudly in his ear. No, wait. Let's splash a bucket of water in his face. That would certainly be a right laugh. Don't you think he'll be upset? Look at it this way. He is most likely in Windhill for a reason. Some pilgrimage or mission or something. And if that is the case, he probably shouldn't be sleeping like this in the first place. In fact, I believe he'll be thankful if we wake him up. So I need to find a bucket of water and marbles. Bucket of water and some marbles. Ah, pump pump. 
What, what to do, what to do? Oh, what are we? Or what are you? No, what are we? I'm a human and you're an elephant, etc., etc. I am an elephant. I come here, come to this realm to help the people in need. Why, that is certainly grand for an... I am indeed in need. Do you see my crops over there? I can't get them to grow. Why not? What do you do they need? Beats me. Maybe they just need water. It has been rather dry as of late. Maybe you can find a tub of water somewhere and fill up that prolonged proboscis of yours. That certainly sounds like a job for me. I'm on it. So I need to find more water. I like my chicken on my head. The chicken on my head is fun. Well, there's water. So can I interact with it? Oh, I didn't want to lose my chicken. Maybe I gotta do... There we go. I see marbles. Yay, there we go. I'm gonna check it back. Maybe you can find some water somewhere and fill that. Yeah, I already did. It looks like maybe I need more. One more. There we go. That should be all. Ooh. A chiss. I found another one. So I got three. So I need one more. So I can get another uh, diamond. Well, I'm gonna have to drop the chicken, ain't I? Oh! Poor buddy! Sorry, he went into the water. I didn't want to bring the chicken into the water. That wasn't nice. Here's your marbles, dude. Ooh. Oh, look, you found my lost marbles. Fantastic. Now I can go right back to business. How can I ever repay you? Not necessary at all. I'm happy to help. You deserve a reward. I'll give you 300 coins. What do you think about that? Please keep your money. As an elephant, I'm just here to help. I don't want anything in return. I'm just doing what I am here to do. Really? Elephants are truly magical. It's nice to have one walk the earth again. It's been ages since the last time there was an elephant. You know what I will do? I will travel to Nightingale City and donate the coins to the monks at the temple instead. That sounds like a very good idea. Fantastic! Thanks again, Mr. Elephant, for all your help. I'm so happy you are here. Just wait until the people in the capital city hear about your arrival. Yes. Alright, so... Whoa! Let me fill up my trunk again. Because I'm gonna squirt the monk in the face with some water. Because that's what she thinks I should be doing. Whoa! What's going on? I'm awake! I'm awake! Hello there, sleepyhead. My name is Sandara, and this is my friend Yono. He's an elephant. Hi, Sandara. I'm pleased to meet you. My name is Kai, and I. Wait! Did you so elephant? Ivory above, you really are an elephant. You have the trunk and the ears and everything. I, I can't believe my eyes. Believe it, Buster. He looks just like the big statue in Town Square. Then it's true, all of it. That means these are blessed times indeed. I'm glad my presence means so much to you, but I wouldn't exactly say. It means everything. Most people nowadays regard elephants as creatures of myth, if they know of you at all. There have been over a thousand years since the world was last visited by elephant, and the memories from those times have transformed to fancy legends and fairy tales. The temple in Nightingale City is trying to keep the old traditions alive, but we are only a handful of monks nowadays. And desperate enough to initiate, initiate just about anyone, it seems. Huh? Ha! <laughs> uh-huh. Sundar, that wasn't a very nice thing to say. It's true, though. I was sent here to Windmill's a mission. Though, what that mission, it was really specified. It was never really specified. I suspect they just wanted me out of the temple for a while after the incident with the tapestry and the soup and the cat and the ancient vase. Oh man, I wish I could have seen that. But I'm glad I'm here now and get to see Yono the elephant with my own eyes. I must guide you back to Nightingale City. How surprised the other monks will be when I, the lost hope, return with the next elephant. 
I'm from Nightingale City as well, and that's where all the real action is. Now that Yono is here, he should totally spread the good news to all the people of the kingdom. Oh, okay. We'll head north from here, through Hedgehog Forest. Come on, let's go already. Uh. Okay, I guess I'll follow you. Hedgehog Forest. <laughs> you better watch out, Yono. There are a couple of rob rob goblins down in the valley, and they seem to have blocked the path with fire. Rob goblins? What are they? Predatory and aggressive little scavengers. Because of their weapons and armor, they look a little bit like people, but they're really not. They're just attracted to the metals and will carry anything around anything they can find, steal or plunder. They are just like my mom says our lives would be like without a structured society. Nasty, brutish, and short. <laughs> Ever since I can remember, I've always wanted to believe in the stories. That's why I became a monk in the first place, to learn more about the mystical elephants who come to our world every millennium. To restore balance and harmony in a realm of chaos. And now you are here, which confirms my beliefs and brings purpose to my whole life. I was so lost. I'm terribly sorry for the state of the world, Yono. There are rob goblins all over the place, and it's a real hassle to travel between cities. I'm afraid you'll have to fight, see a fight or two before we reach our journey's end. It, I will certainly do my best. I have faith in you. Well, obviously. But you know what I mean. Thank you, buddy. Hedgehoggy! Oh, I love hedgehogs. They're so cute. Oh, so can I go in here? Another hedgy! I want the, the chest. Give me your riches. Thank you. Little hedgies. Ah! No, I lost my hedgy! Wait, did that there? I don't know. I'll get another one, because here he is again. I'll take him. Oh, there's more! Oh my goodness. Oops, excuse me. Alright, so I guess I need to fight them. I can move them? I'm blowing wind on them. There you go. What that did. Oh, so I can get across. I need some water so I can put out the fire. There we go. Alright, so let's go in there. Oh, I see another heart piece of heart. Oh. Is that gonna. Yep. I definitely don't want to hit into that. I like how the animals ride on my back. I need to get somehow get down there because I think that's how I need to go out. Oh, hello, dudes. I guess they take two hits. Oh, what's that? Sorry, dude. Do I need to push this and then... Oh! There you go. I guess I can pick it up. A key! I don't want my hedgy back. Another rob goblin. They take three hits. Okay, so I've got water. I don't think I can get on this. No. So I need to put something there. when I blow oh maybe I need to go back up I was thinking I would blow it from that but I think I need to blow it from the top let's see 
There we go. Oh, I see, because I need to put this on. I wonder how long that lasts for. You can go back down. There we go. All right. Oops! Totally through my hedgie. All right. So now I can do this. I'm pushing on the button. What does that do? Is it still okay? <laughs> I don't want to walk on that. Just waiting for yeah. Oh, I need water. Yep. Okay, so I need to go get some water. Okay, when does... Ah! I didn't know when the spikes were coming up. I guess I'll go this way. Water was down here. Let me get some water. Okay. I need to wait for the platform. And I blow the water and get the treasure. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, oh no, is that gonna go in the water? That would have been bad. Can I jump this way? Okay. Give me that. All right, so then I'll put the key in. All right. I wonder if this lets me. I don't know where it leads to. Oh, it doesn't lead to where the other heart is. It's okay. Alright, let's kill the snoop. I don't know if there's anything over here, though. No. Read the sign. What does it say? The cable wrap system is out of order during low tide. Sorry for the inconvenience. Low tide. So, do I gotta do something with water? I just have that feeling. I wonder if I can just. Maybe this? Oh, wait. I don't know how long that lasts for. Maybe forever? Ah, well, cool. Oh, I already had water. Uh, I was prepared. But I need more. Because I probably gotta do something with this. So I can do the other cable thing. Whoop. There we go. Thank you. Oh yay, there's another hedgie. Give me stuff, dandelions. Oh. Oh, I don't know if they're gonna disappear, so I better collect them. I don't need any more hearts. Yay! So now that means I should get another... I'm so used to calling them hearts, but I guess diamonds. Health container. So, but I need to go to some person in order to get it. do I need to do here? I see water and hedgies and a person. Let's talk to this person. Oh, is that the rail system lady? <gasps> Hello! Oh, 
Ooh, bet you didn't expect to be meet me here. Can you guess how I got here? I snuck on a train and rode it all the way to this weird tunnel. It was awesome. It was the best. I'm glad to hear that. But this tunnel is full of traps and rob goblins. It could be dangerous. Yeah, I know. I'm really going to venture further into the tunnel. I just wanted to ride the train. I'm going to sneak back onto one and go home to Windhill again. By the way, do you want me to tell you something about trains? I know a lot about trains. Okay. Whenever you arrive at a new place, it's a good habit to seek out and check in at the train station so that you can quickly travel there again in the future. That's all for me. Time to ride the train back to Windhill. So how do I check into a train station? Whoa! Interesting. Oh, so that must be Windhill because there's a windmill. 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 And those are places I haven't visited yet? Okay. Oh, I'm just gonna go back to where I was. Oh, that's cute. But I need my hedgie again. Thank you. Oh, another, another health token. So I need to find that exchange service. You know what? I wonder if there's one in, in the Windhill. Let me take a ride to Windhill. This is actually say halfway point Windhill, Nightingale City. Hedgehog tunnel. This is probably Windhill. Yep. Oh, flat. Oh, there's a chest over there. I haven't been over that way yet, I don't think. Well, obviously, I haven't. Oh. Am I quite sure how we get over there yet? Woo! Oh, that's it. Hmm. Where's the exchange service? That might be it. Kind of looks like it would be. Welcome, adventurer. This is the health token exchange service speaking. How can I help you today, sir? Token exchange? Indeed, sir. This is the place to trade in your health tokens for extra health containers. One brand new container is worth four tokens. I see. So whenever you have collected four health tokens, you can come to me or to one of my associates and exchange them for one more health container, which will increase your maximum health. That's very nice of you. I'll certainly bring health tokens back here when I find them. Always glad to be of service, sir. Have a good day. But I have health tokens. Congratulations, sir. You have enough health tokens for a brand new health container. Your maximum health will be increased by one and your health fully replenished. Have a good day, sir. There you go. Awesome. And let's go back to the tree. Oh, wait, you know what? Oh, is this another? Oh, uh, that's not where I wanted to go. I was seeing if there was like, I don't know. But there was some way to get that from, I don't know. I probably have to go to a tunnel or something. There's probably some secret I don't know about yet. All right. Let me go back here. Another hedgie for me. Alright, let's look what's up here. Oh, that looks lovely. That looks like so much fun. Whoa! We need to line up. Line up! Ah! Yeah, I totally didn't want to do that. So I just need to go, Wah! Oh, and that one like sends you into spikes. That's lovely. <laughs> Is there something I messed up here? Wait. I don't know what that did. Oh, just for a secret, a easier way, I guess. For next time. Shortcut. 
So I'll have to do that again. Alright. Oh, I see a key. Yeah, get that key. Give me! I will take you key. So I can unlock a door. There we go. Let's see where this leads. Oh, what is this? This is new. Oh! Uh, another key. But... There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! It's like, how do I get past that now? Hello, dude. Thank you for your money. Um, Alright. Well, there's like two buttons. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I think the door thing is gonna be last. That's probably gonna need to be first. And... Ha! Oh, let me go up here. Oops. Oh, there you go. How do I get up there, though? Is it timing me? Dang. Ah, oh, no, it was timing me. <laughs> I can't see that faster. I was looking at things. Alright, let's do that again. Oops. Oh. Well, I thought it was going to appear where it was before. No, let me on. <laughs> that was close. Whoop. So there's another. Oops. <laughs> totally didn't mean to do that. Push the wrong button. <laughs> Alright, well. I do this. Oh. Did I just totally miss it? There we go. And maybe I need to. Oops. I not reach it. No, apparently not. But hmm. okay, get hit. Ah, oh. I totally did just get hit. Hey, is this another room? Yes, this is back in this room. Oh, this treasure chest. Take that. Money's. But does that mean I have to... Yeah, it does mean that. That's okay. Boop. 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 There we go. Oh no, don't! No! No! Oh, that's too fast. What am I even doing? I can totally... I don't have to do that. Because it's already open. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's what happens sometimes with puzzles. Let's see. Can I get up? I don't think I can... Whoa! I don't think I can jump. Change this again. Maybe I shouldn't have changed it yet. Oh, I see. Okay. So I do need to change this and then change it back. Alright. There 
We're gonna do this. We're gonna do that. And I don't think that worked. Do that again. Do that. And then action. And then we're gonna do wah! <laughs> oh, and I need water. Dang. Try this again. All right, so now we got water. Wait a minute though. Because I can't. I can't blow water and I need water. It's like, hmm. But I need water. Something, okay. Oh, okay, I get it. This needs to move over. There we go. Let's try this again. So then I'm going to do this. And then I'm gonna get the water. And then I'm gonna hurry up over here and do this. Hey, there we go. And now I can go back. I like these type of puzzle games. It makes you think what you gotta do next. All right, so then I can grab the key. And where do I need to go with the key? Did I totally not see the door? Not there. Oh, I think I know. Wasn't there a door? Yeah, there was. There was a door in the other room. All right, isn't the door right below me? Boop, yep, there we go. Open sesame. <laughs> that was so worth it, so worth it. Oh, I guess I could have went over the little place. Oh, there's somewhere else. Hedgy for me. Looks like there would be a secret right here. Oh no, I want him! Oh dang, he disappeared. Yay, another one! This way to Nightingale City. Ingrid was here. Ingrid was everywhere. <laughs> Kinda like that, how you just blow the dandelions and you get stiff. Oh, we're in. Thank you, city. Excuse me, Hedgies. All right, let's talk to him. Hey. This is Nightingale City. Word of your arrival has spread. Elephant and Queen Synthara wishes to see you forthwith. Please proceed into the city. Do you have anything different to say? Hey. Oh, wow, you really are an elephant. We heard rumors a new elephant has come, but I didn't know what to believe. Welcome to Nightingale City, home of the royal family and high seat of the kingdom. The queen wants to talk to you, and I suggest you seek her out in the castle right away. This is so exciting. <gasps> Nightingale City is the capital of the kingdom. To the north is Sunder Garden, City of the Dead, and to the east is Free Haven, the Makani's attempt at a sustainable political unit. Shops. Robot? How do you like my new paint job? I went for racer red this time. I can't wait to show my friends at tomorrow's party. Oh. Ooh la la, the latest styles of the season can only be found in Nightingale City. What will it be today, my friend? Oh. Oh! Ooh! Oh, they're so cute! Oh 
my goodness. Ah, uh, ah, uh, that's a link. <laughs> oh my goodness, they are so cute. I don't know. I think I probably should save my coins for something. I don't think, I think they're just a skin. I don't think they do anything extra. They're so cute. I like the knit one. That one's cute. All right, let's see what's in the next door. Oh, that's the train. This just in. Elephant Yono has arrived in Nightingale City. Queen Synthara has issued a demand to meet with our new elephant. Will Yono agree to meet with the queen? What does her highness have to say to him? Stay tuned for further developments. Feel free to tune in anytime you want. An update, a reminder on what's going on right now. So I'm checking in at the train station. So now I got three of them open. Boop, boop. Hey. Her Highness wishes to speak with you. She'll be waiting in the throne chamber. I suggest you head there right away. Yeah, but I'm too busy. I'm busy shopping. Oh, I don't think I have enough. I only got one. Yeah, so I need three more to get another health container. Though I will return to my grave in the Sunder Garden someday, I have been staying here in Nightingale City for over 120 years. It's a fascinating place, and it's a very curious thing to watch a city grow like this one has. Hi, you made it. This is Nightingale City. You already knew that. I wanted to show you the temple and the rest of the monks. I can't wait to see the Grand Master's face when he sees you. But the Queen has issued a man to meet you. And I really don't think you should keep her waiting for very long. Where is Sundara? Oh, she went up ahead towards the castle. I don't know. She seemed a little nervous to me to be here for some reason and dodged out of sight pretty quickly. I don't trust her, you know. I think there's something she's not telling us. Did I screw up again? Should I have kept a better eye on her? Discover she's up to no good? You did good, Kai. I'll go find the kit. <laughs> I'll go find this castle and see if I can meet Sundara along the way. Hey, Yono, good luck with the queen. Do I need to see you? Her Highness wishes to speak with you. She'll be waiting in the throne chamber. Yep. I'm going. I'm going. I'm guessing it's up here somewhere. <gasps> Hi, Mimi! And I, Momo, we're twins. We are looking for our lost dog, Milo. He ran away and hasn't come back. If you see him, please bring him back to us. Please. Okay. Hey. Yes, I'm going. I'm going. But there's more stores to shop in. Oh, who are you? <clears throat> I am the Queen's Executioner. We often like to forget, but even noble political power is fundamentally an extension of the physical power of violence. Okay. I don't think I want to meet him in a dark alley. Wait, there's another store there, is there? Ah, I'm breaking your, your faces! Go. Oh. I guess I'm gonna have to go from another direction to get in there. All right, let's go meet the queen. Is she up here? I assume she is up here. Castle Garden. Ah, Peacock. Can I talk to him? Oh, they want nothing to do with me. I was trying to put one on my shoulder. On the back or whatever. <laughs> Psst! Over here! Hi, Sandoro. What are you doing sneaking around the castle garden? I'm casually avoiding the city guards. But anyway, here's the castle. The queen is waiting for you inside. And from what intelligence I was gathered, she seems to have something important to say to you. Maybe the end of the world is lurking around the bend after all. Why don't we step inside and meet her then? Maybe you can introduce me. 
Nope, I'm sorry, but I can't go inside with you. Someone might recognize me, and we wouldn't want that. I just wanted to make sure you found your way to the castle, but I'm sneakily sneak off now. Avoiding suspicion. I'll go the- I'll find that goof Kai and meet you downtown, okay? Good luck with the queen. Sneakily sneaking off. Wow, she's got a long hallway here. Oh, there's the queen. Oh. Elephant Yono, we are Her Highness, Queen Synthar the First. News of your arrival has preceded you, Elephant Yono. It seems the old monks were right that an elephant would appear in our time of need. Your Highness, I'm glad to be of assistance. Wait, time of need? What does that mean? Our daughter is missing! The young princess has been kidnapped! We assume you have come here to find her! Well, I will certainly do my best to help out. A missing child is a serious matter, royal offspring or not. Our baby girl has been stolen from us! Worry not, your highness. I will find the lost princess. You could have ta Who could have taken her, do you think? There's walking corpses from the Sunder Garden, we're sure! Rumor has it, they steal human children all the time to use in the dark rituals they keep them alive. Or else, to perform sickening experiments on. We never thought the Bone Wits would have the nerve to stretch out their profane fingers towards the royal family. Your Highness, I have met a few Bone Wits, and I wouldn't say they seem the kind to steal babies. Or else, it's the Mechani who are behind this. We have known for a long time that unrest is growing in Freehaven, and this could be very well part of the barbaric coup to bargain away their trade taxes. Those clockwork brains of theirs can be shrewdly political, and their lack of human emotions make the robots ruthless and unpredictable. I see. Your Highness, let me investigate this matter. I'll do whatever I can to get the missing princess safely back to you. At first, we didn't believe in elephants, but since you are here now, we suspect you'll be able to solve this with ease. At least, that's the impression we have gotten from the stories, that your kind can move mountains and wars and align the planets. With such immense power, we expect you'll be able to find our kidnapped daughter and punish those responsible accordingly. I'll do my best, your highness. Alright. Oh, turtle! Oh, I thought he, she was gonna be in town. <laughs> Hi ho! How was your meeting with the queen? Intense character, isn't she? You're right, Sandara. There's a great calamity happening in the kingdom, which I've sent to repair. I know what it is now. Let me guess, the princess is missing? Why, yes! How did you know that? I'm the missing princess, silly. And I'd rather be, it stayed that way for at least a little while longer. You're the princess? Then what are you doing here? Your mother is very worried about you. I just ran away a little, okay? Have you any idea what life in the court is like? It's all polite conversation here, respectful bows there, exquisite food and fancy dresses. Have you tried doing a somersault in a dress? No, I haven't. Well, I had to get away from it all a little while. Please don't make me go back in there. My mom would throw a fit if she sees my hair like this. And I want to travel the world. I want to see the Sunder Garden and Freehaven too. And I want to do all kinds of weird stuff. Are you sure your mother seemed rather upset? Perhaps it would be better to let her know where you're going. Where you're going. Oh, you are clearly not familiar with my mother. We have a world to save. You and I, and that monk boy. And even if the world is not in trouble yet, then maybe we'll have to, to cause some first. She's gonna have to cause some. All right, monk boy, we need to go find the monk boy. Wonder if he's in the same spot. Let's see. No, he's not there. What is that? 
another robot? Good day, Mr. Elephant. <laughs> I guess they're everywhere. Who are you? Hey. I can't believe I can't let you inside to see my son. You might smuggle in messages from the girl of Yuli. She's no good for him, you know. My son needs to hook up with a pirate or something. A girl with some action in her, a quiet and bookish girl like Yuli will only enable his already alarming leaning towards poetry and such nonsense. I simply can't let you inside. Okay, interesting. There's like lots of little shops. Oh, you're gonna tell my fortune. Welcome to Madame Maximelle. I am your go-to fortune teller for all things psychic. Can I tell you about your future, my dear? What can you tell me? Absolutely nothing, that's what. Without my crystal ball, I am completely helpless in the void beyond. My no-good sister has nicked it and is trying to use it for herself despite having no talent whatsoever in matters of clairvoyance. Your sister? Is she a medium as well? Well, I'd say she's more of a small. But here you come. A tall, dark stranger to fetch my crystal ball back to me, no? I'll see what I can do. Huh. Anything in here? Oh, robot. Oh. The trade between humans and Meg and I goes by sea between Nightingale City and Freehaven, but it's entirely controlled by Nightingale City. They force us to pay high taxes and a tariff on everything we trade, which means Freehaven remains a scrappy outpost. We are trying to find ways of getting around the tariff, if you know what I mean. I have a fake manifest here for a shipment of manufactured goods from Freehaven, but it needs an official stamp before we can show it to the harbor, harbor master. Luckily, we have a human sympathizer who works in the Queen's Guard and has better access to official documents. Could you take this fake cargo manifest to our friend in the Queen's Guard, get the stamp, and then give it to the harbor master? The harbor master office is located by the docks downtown from the Elephant Temple. Our sympathizer guard is the fourth guard from the entrance in the Queen's Throne Room. Okay. Everybody has quests for me. Mm -mm, mm -mm. This town's pretty big. Pirate. Oops. <gasps> Ahoy, matey! I used to be a fearsome pirate off the coast of Freehaven, but a vest! The pirate life ain't what it used to be, I tell you that. The Queen's forces are keeping a close watch over Freehaven these days. The last beacon of anarchy stifled under the iron fists of the monarchy. I, I long for those golden days of yore, the salty air in your face, the rolling sea under your feet. Okay. <laughs> Boop, ba doop. All right, I'm just trying to find that monk boy. The monkey boy! Not a monkey boy, a monk boy. Oh, maybe I can go this way. Whoa, where am I going? Oh, upstairs. Interesting. Wow, this town is very big. I wonder if there's like a... M is there a map? Those buttons both do the same thing. <laughs> I guess. No, no map. Yeah. No. <laughs> do you have any other ideas besides cold water to wake someone up who is asleep? Do I? I've got tons. Let's see. A loud noise is always a winner. I once startled the Minister of the Treasury by sneaking a live chicken into its wardrobe. It went cock a doodle doo early in the morning, and you should have seen the look on the minister's face. Classic. Okay. Interesting. Alright, I'm actually gonna stop here. Um, this is a really cute game. I mean, the, the artwork is amazing in this game, and I love adventure games because it has like a little bit of puzzle and a great story to it. Um, I recommend go checking it out. There's a link in the description if you'd like to check it out yourself. And I appreciate everyone tuning in and give this uh, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and share if you like it and then share with your friends so i hope everyone has a great friday and a great weekend this has been sammy with wild tangent i'll catch you all next friday at one o'clock p.m pt bye guys <laughs>